hello viewers this is rada today i am going to compare tools hydroflow express and hydraulic toolbox my learning objectives are learning hydrology application using rational method application of hydroflow express and hydraulic toolbox calculate peak flow and hydrograph use of both tools and compare results so first i will go to the city of toronto website for my data so this is city of toronto website the document name is design criteria for sewers and water mains so this is we will use rational method q is equal to 2.78 ca Q is equal to flow in liters per second. A is equal to drainage area in hectares. C is equal to runoff coefficient dimensionless. I is equal to intensity of rainfall in millimeter per hour. And this is IDF curves and equations. I is equal to A T raised to C, where I is equal to intensity of rainfall in millimeter per hour. T is equal to time of concentration in hours. Parameters of A and C are as follows: for the time period 2510, A 21.832 38.7ATC, C is equal to minus 0.78 minus 0.79 minus 0.88ATC. So, I did I took these values in my spreadsheet, this formula, and time of concentration. I, with different time of concentration, I calculated these values: I in millimeter per hour and in centimeter per hour. So first, we will go to the tool Hydroflow Express. So this tool is used for different calculations, culverts, channels, inlets, hydrology. And we are, we are interested in hydrology. So this is our input area. This is our output area. This is hydrograph. And I have used IDF curves. So I started using IDF table. So here I took values from Excel sheet and fill out these values. And automatically this calculates coefficients and compute IDF hydrograph. My other tool is hydraulic toolbox. This is this is used for both units, SI units and US customer units. Similarly, as hydro hydrofilo. So let's see this tool here. So here is the input data: runoff coefficient, area, rainfall intensity. So compute IDF curves. So IDF curve computation, hydro 35 data, and OA Atlas data, both can be used for US. We are interested in user supply data. So define storm data. Here I went to here, then I put these values here for two year, five year, ten year, twenty five year, fifty year, and hundred year, and different. Time of concentration, different timing timings: five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, thirty minutes, sixty minutes. And here is the time of concentration, specified time of concentration. So I specify minimum time of concentration ten minutes. In my calculation, we can compute time of concentration from here also. So define parameters. So Parameters: state flow, shallow concentrated flow, channel flow, and here we will put input. Uh, we can put input values and find time of concentration. We will not use this one for for our example. So let's go to here, Hydroflow Express. 
So area I am taking one hectare in this example. Runoff coefficient 0.7. Time of concentration 10 minutes. Frequency 2 years. So here we can change frequency. Different 2 year, 3 year, 5 year, 10 year. In our case, we can change 2 year, 5 year, 10 year, 25 year, 50 year, and 100 year. So run this program. Here we can see because our time of concentration is 10 minutes, which means that we will have highest flow at 10 minutes. So let's see how much flow we are getting. 10 minutes 0.169 cubic meter and volume is 51 cubic meter. This is 0.169 cubic meter per second and total volume is 101 cubic meter. And another way we can do like this if we uh, want to calculate storage volume when there is a flow, outflow. So we will take outflow less than the Q, 0.169. So here, 0.1. So then, and then we have required storage as 41 cubic meter. Let's see P curve. This gives us spawn depth, orifice diameter, orifice area, orifice velocity, drawdown time. This calculate, automatically calculate orifice diameter for us for different bond depth values. So we, one option we can do like this one. So print report. Save. This is our document. Here, this gives us a storm frequency two years, drainage area one hectare, rainfall intensity in inch per hour 3.453. Peak discharge 0.169, runoff coefficient 0.7, and this is pond depth versus orifice diameter graph. Similarly, we will see another tool here. This tool, I, I put values runoff coefficient 0.7, area 1 hectare, and for 2 year recurrence year. This calculates for two years, intensity is 88.179. We can change these values like 50 years, 100 years, automatically these values are changing. We will keep two years for the sake of comparison. So our flow rate is 0.2 cubic meter per second. So compute. So on time, 10 minutes time of concentration is 0.1715 and let's plot. So this is plot the graph. Report. Save. I take analysis report. So project title and rectal analysis 0.7, 1 hectare, 88.18 rain point intensity, 10 minutes. And this is IDF input parameters. This is IDF results. Intensity. Time of concentration 10 minutes, rational method results, 
flow rate point two cubic meter, which is approximate. Is actually is point one seven. Now we have calculated flow rate in both cases. So we are in a position to compare these softwares. Hydroflow Express, IDF curve input in coefficient table graphs as we saw there. Hydraulic toolbox, IDF curve input table graph. So, but we, we cannot give coefficients. Here with hydraulic toolbox in Hydroflow Express peak values, volume, graph, incremental total volume. In hydraulic toolbox, we, we can give we, we can get peak value, graph, total volume in the report. So both can create a report and print. So this gives us rational method, modified rational and SCS. And this hydraulic toolbox rational method only. For the time of concentration, a user can assign time of concentration as in our case FAA TR55 and Kirkwich. Time of concentration user can assign in hydraulic toolbox and a federal highway administration method. Hydra Flow Express is, a, is ex, ex, extension of civil theory and it's stand along free softwares. This concludes today's video. Keep watching my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.